Now, I've been receiving multiple requests to talk about this. Every day, someone's messaging me. BQ, what do you think about this production upgrade? This is what you, this rumored upgrade, this is what you've been asking for for a long time. And I'm not going to read the the article. You guys all know by this point um, that the article has been floating around now for about a week and a half about rumored um, upgrades and impacts production. Obviously, this is something I have been hammering for what feels like years. But I would say under the Anthem era, I'm not going to say the Anthem era. The beginning of the Anthem era was fine. It was more, this isn't about my red obsession, I promise, but it was about the time that they switched from the blue to the red where things went downhill. And I'm trying to think in my head, some of you guys might know better than me. I feel like that's around the time Kevin Sullivan may have left for AEW. Because I know he was, I don't know what his exact role was in the company. I know he did a lot of a lot of the visuals. And back then the company looked, you know, what they put on television looked good. And then just progressively, it has gotten very, very bad. Emergence was dreadful. It looked absolutely horrible. And and I saw people on social media saying the same thing. So this wasn't just me saying, yo, this is fucking unwatchable. It improved as the show went on, but it was borderline unwatchable. And there's been some episodes that have been borderline unwatchable. I always say, what do I always say? They're wrestling in the dark. That's what it looks like. And uh, with Emergence, it was a genuine lighting issue. And with the Impact episodes, I don't always think it's lighting. I think that's part of it. But I know a lot of the people who go to the show say, well, it looks fine when we're there. Obviously, they're not. They're watching live. They're not watching on a television. But they're saying it's bright. There's lights. We can see. And then the episode rolls around. And it looks horrible. So I don't know what these potential upgrades include. Is it better cameras? Um, is it software upgrades? Lighting upgrades? You know, we don't know. The, I know this is like really negative and if it, someone who works for the company would probably be really pissed with me saying this, but they, they've had the nerve online to say, well, we're the hardest working production company in wrestling or production team in wrestling. Get the fuck out of here. The show looks horrible. Maybe you're putting in long hours. You know, that, that's absolutely possible. But the show for the longest time has looked bad more than it's looked good. There's there's like random episodes where it looks really good. And what I've been talking about over and over and over is putting filters on things when it's unnecessary. And it, actually, the filter is not that big of a deal because they had been using filters prior to this. But when the lighting and everything is better and it's a nice, crisp, high definition, like... It, that doesn't really matter. It's the, it's messing with the levels. And I know I repeat myself on this stuff a lot, but I have to say this again. It's messing with the color levels unnecessarily. Now, when you're editing video, when you're editing graphics, like you do have to do that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying leave it alone because you don't want it raw. You have to make adjustments, but they're overdoing it. And, you know, the best example that I've given is let's say I've got a black t-shirt on and I've got, I'm standing with a black wall behind me. You can still see the contrast. Like I'm not blending into the wall, but when you take the levels and you drop them, the deeper colors start to blend together. And that's what impact did very hardcore. They still do it on the backstage stuff with Gia, but the actual in-ring product, they kind of stopped doing that. But what happens when you do that is heads look like they're floating in air. And that's what the referees look like because they have majority majority of their outfit is black. Most of the Impact wrestlers wear black. Pay pay attention to it. Most of them wear black. Um, and then another thing you can see with Gia is when you drop these levels, the hair starts looking really shiny and unnatural. And so, you know, there's things like that. So I, I don't know what production upgrade means. To them, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means to them. But clearly, it's been 
identified as an issue. I think it also includes having better personnel back there, uh, more professional, experienced personnel. Because it's not just equipment. Like if you can't cook, it doesn't matter if you, you know, someone brings you the freshest vegetables and the freshest shredded cheese and, you know, uh, high grade meat and, you know, and all the, the best cooking utensils in the world. If you can't cook, you can't cook. So I think it also, it, it, it's not just the software. It's not just the hardware. It's also the mindset. Um, it's, it's also having experienced professionals in there who know what looks good and what doesn't look good because you can't have this going on for years and, and nobody catches this at some point. That means everyone's got the same eye and that's, that's a big no, no. And I mean, don't get me start on started on the audio victory road. First match of the car, the one that's uh, of the pre-show that's supposed to sell people on getting the pay-per-view. The feed goes out. And the feed goes out on these things, or we have audio issues. I mean, am I exaggerating when I say 80% of the time it's an issue? And I'm not talking about in 2023. I'm not even talking about 22 and 2023. I mean... Since the very beginning, since they started these Impact Plus shows for, for now, you know, five years, it's been a complete mess. But this is good. This is at least gives us something to work with saying, hey, we finally identify that this is an issue because it doesn't matter what they think. The wrestling fan sees several shows on TV, okay? WWE, NXT, AEW. They're going to compare visually impact to those. Now, impact's never going to look like those. They're not going to have a budget to look like those, and that's fine. But we don't want it looking like MLW, but on TV. And that's what the problem has been. So this is great news because we know at least it's been identified at this point. Now, what are these upgrades going to mean? I don't know. I think it has to be a complete overhaul, folks. I kick off every year saying this is the year to get rid of We Own the Night. This is the year to get rid of the stage setup. This is the year to, you know, change up the color scheme a little bit, um, change up the presentation. I say that every year. I'm like, this is the year. And, and, And the show looks exactly the same as it looked four years ago. And it makes you feel like you're watching the same shit over and over and over. So now that you're doing this, now that you're you're going to make this upgrade, it's got to be a complete overhaul. You got to go all in, make this feel like a brand new era of impact. That doesn't mean rebrand. I could do a complete rebrand. That's not what I'm saying. But you can make it feel like a brand new era. I think it's very important to do that i've been talking about the presentation for a while just go all in upgrade the presentation because they're going to compare you to other wrestling shows and when it doesn't look anything near that they're going to say what is this trash now um the last thing i'm going to say here because i've been going on about this for a while it's speculation amongst the fans that well maybe they're trying to find a better TV deal, because the way the show looks and sounds right now, it's an access TV show. You know what I mean? Like no one's going to, no bigger channel is going to pick that garbage up. The wrestling is great. The show is more often than not good. It's the, it's the other, the other shit, the way they've edited the show has been a, a mess for a long time. Now, if we upgrade it, maybe there's another TV, you know, maybe people are going to look at it. TV stations might look at it. Okay, well, this looks like something we would want to put on our channel. NWA has even upgraded their stuff. I watched their episode last night, and um, I like it's, it's a better viewing experience for me. It looks, it does not look like any other season that they've done, but every season NWA does do, like, looks different than the last. So, I mean, AEW updates their look from time to time. 
they have two shows, Collision and Dynamite. Well, I have three shows, but Collision feels nothing like Dynamite. And it's the same general setup, same general wrestlers. But it feel, why does it feel totally different? Because they have professionals in place to make sure it's like that. So, you know, these episodes of Impact don't need to feel the same all the damn time. But it's not just the hardware. It's not just physical equipment. It's a mindset. It's bringing in the right people, the right professionals with actual experience to say, hey, this doesn't look good. This doesn't sound good. Because there's no evidence that that is how it's been over the last four years. It seems like they've been content with mediocrity. So this is really good news, folks. Um, I'm going to stop rambling about it. Obviously, it's something I've been extremely passionate about the last several years. And let's hope come January 2024, we finally get the impact that we want to see.